All right, so this lecture and the following five or six lectures, I'm going to talk about one to two, one to two inbuilt functions in Python. So before what I had done is I had done all the functions at once in one single lecture, and I realized that put a lot of information way too fast. So I've divided this down a little bit more so that it slowly sinks in about which functions we're dealing with. So as you know, we've learned that functions ease up our code, they help us a lot, they help us reuse our code, stuff like that. Python also has some inbuilt functions that we can use. So in this lecture, I'm going to talk about the first one or two, and then for the following four or five lectures, we'll discuss more and more inbuilt functions. So the first two I want to talk about today are the abs function and the bool function. So the abs function or ABS, um, if you were in eighth grade or ninth grade, you must have learned about the absolute value, basically does that. It returns the absolute value of a number. So if you don't know what absolute value is, don't worry. Um, I'll give you a quick uh, explanation of what absolute value does. So if you have a negative number and if you do the absolute value of it, you'll always get positive. So the absolute value of any negative number, or any number will always become positive. For example, if I did the absolute value of minus 10, I'll get 10. If I, got, if I did the absolute value of minus 63, I'll get 63. However, if I did the absolute value of two, I'll still get two. So the way we can call the abs function is basically abs and then in two brackets, the number you want, minus 43, 43. Absolute value of um, two is two. Basically, all the app, what the only thing absolute value does is if you want to convert a negative number into a positive number instantaneously without having to maybe um, add or subtract or do whatever you want, absolute value does that pretty fast. So definitely recommend absolute value. It's a nice function to use. Now, the second function we're talking about today is going to be the bool function. So we're going alphabetical order. A was for ABS. Second is bool. All right, the name bool is short for Boolean like we've talked about. And the bool function, it takes in a single parameter and it either returns true or false based on its value, okay? So let's go ahead and check it out. For example, if I called bool on the value zero, I'm gonna get false. If I called bool on the value one, I get true. However, if I call bool on anything else, for example, 45, I will always get true. I can do bool. ASD, I'll always get true. The only time the bool function returns false is when you're using zero, okay? That's something key to remember, something you want to know. Actually, I, I correct myself, I'm sorry. The bool function returns false when it's zero or when you're not passing or when you're passing none. So none is basically, it's nil, zilch, nothing. When you do bool none, you'll also get false. So if you're writing some code and if you're trying to check what is the value returning, you can make the user return zero or one. If the val if you can use the bool function check if it's returning false or true and then make your code run from there. Basically the bool function is just nice to know if the value is false or true, stuff like that. So let's quickly recap what we've learned. It's ABS and bool. Absolute function converts a negative number into positive and the bool function returns true on everything except for zero and none. So you can slowly think about where you could use these functions in your code. I mean, if you uh, if you have some experience with programming, definitely think, where can I use the bool? Where can I use the ABS? Stuff like that. 